All right, I've been waiting a long time for this. I ordered this months ago. This is another custom built box by Anvil. And um, it's gonna be used to hold our travel air compressors. So we'd have two check bags, uh, one with our airbrush easel and airbrushes. Uh, this would be for the air, uh, the um, compressor. Currently we're using this. This is an Iwata, um, I always forget the name, PowerJet Pro tubular pretty sure that's what it's called so it's got uh, two diaphragm pumps and an automatic shutoff this believe it or not is not just a handle it's an air tank <laughs> so you can see how the air feeds into there so the reason why i use this compressor is not only because it's small and easy to carry for travel primarily the reason why i use it is it doesn't have a perceivable air tank uh, every time i've tried to fly with a regular compressor with an air tank no matter how small uh, they won't allow it. I'm talking about TSA. I guess there's a small chance of bursting on a plane. Mm, I don't know, but whatever. Can't argue with TSA. If they're not going to put it on the plane, then we're going to end up showing up at the event without an air compressor. So for a long time, I used a FedEx uh, or air compressors, and then eventually I tried one of these. I was really skeptical of whether it was going to be strong enough. Um, I found out that it's, it is. It's 50 pounds of pressure, consistent, which isn't ideal. Um, I have to say, I'd rather airbrush with at least 65 pounds. The work is much smoother, faster, and cleaner. Like, airbrushes just work better. 50 pounds, you can get by. Um, another drawback is it does collect moisture a little easier, so you got to use some water separators. We use an extra long hose to help mitigate that problem. But it's been serving us well, so I ended up buying like eight of these for the team. Another drawback, unfortunately, is they're, they're quite expensive. They're like $500 for a little thing like but they're super tough. Uh, believe it or not, they don't overheat. We can use these for hours all day long. Um, they barely get hot, you can touch them. Pretty cool. I guess it's because it's a diaphragm instead of a, a piston compressor. Maybe not as efficient, but definitely not, uh, doesn't get hot. Anyway, I'm thinking about finding something to replace this. I just, I'm tired of using so little air pressure, but for now it's serving us well. Um, so I had this case built, and you can see the case is probably a lot bigger than it needs to be, but there was a reason for that. I thought maybe, let me get some. These are the, these are the air compressors that we use when we're not flying. I thought, well, maybe I could make a case, because they are $600, that serve two purposes. One, to carry the compressors that we use uh, when we're not flying, and then one for flying. And it would fit both. So that's why it's a little bigger. Um, but I don't know. I, I used it for a recent event. We went to Nashville. Uh, Nick, who's on our team, and I, I took this with us. It was fine. Um, you know, I got to show you this, too. The reason why I wanted to get a case for a compressor is not just to save, you know, to protect the compressor, but it has this. It has wheels on the bottom. And a handle and you can roll it around like luggage and our, it'll you can stack the uh, airbrush easel on top which is important because that airbrush easel the whole case fully loaded it's about 40 pounds and walking through an airport <laughs> with a handle of weighs 440 pounds and it's pretty hard so we needed something we could stack stuff on so that's why we ended up with this um i just think it's too big you know it's it doesn't fit in every trunk. So if I'm getting an Uber from the airport, let's say, or even just renting a car from the airport, there's a good chance it won't fit in the trunk. Some will, some won't. So another thing too is, you know, I had lots of extra space in here once I put the air compressor in, which is cool, because then I could put leftover shirts after the event. Instead of leaving them in Nashville, I could take them back home with me and save some money, right? The problem was once I loaded this up with shirts, it was over 50 pounds and it would have cost me an extra $75 to fly. So that negates the savings that you have from bringing some shirts home with you, right? So I think it needs to be smaller so we never go overweight. It'll also save weight on the case itself and it'll be easier to carry and move into a trunk of a car or something like that. Um, some of the limitations I think I might have 
that I have this in my possession, I can actually work with it, see it firsthand, measure it. One of the limitations is this handle is, I don't know how long it is on the inside. I'm gonna have to take it apart. It doesn't really, you can't really see it from the inside. Uh, I wanna see how long it is because it's like, if the handle is this long, then that's the, the shortest I can make the case. So that's the limitation. Uh, another limitation is you can see that I have to, the box has to be oriented this way for the handle. I can't put it on the side so that, so that this lid opens from the top, which would be ideal. But if I do that, there's no way to mount the handle that the lid opens. And eh, it's kind of weird, but so it kind of opens like a refrigerator. So maybe the compressor needs to be put in this way and bolted, ideally bolted to the case so it doesn't come out. Maybe put a couple of fans on the outside of the case so it can circulate the air inside. I'd also like to mount a, oops, I got it. Moisture trap. I don't really, I guess we could put the regulator on there. That could be permanently mounted on the inside perhaps. Maybe I could have some jacks where you could actually just plug in the hose from the outside. So you don't have to reach inside. To use the compressor and again if it had fans on it maybe i could seal it up and it would keep the, press, uh, the air compressor that much more quiet not that it needs to be because it's never really a problem once you get the music going in an event or you have a room full of people you really don't hear like, air compressors so that's it i'm going to tinker with this and see what we come up with